manager here at Front Range Anglers. I've been here for 20 years. Uh, today I'm going to tie my Solitude Bassmaster. All right, so we're going to be tying the Bassmaster fly. We'll use the B10S Gamagatsu, uh, like a size 2. Then for the weight on the fly, I like the red painted dumbbell eyes. For the tail, we'll use black rabbit strips. And for the body of the fly, we'll use uh, the Staz uh, Grand or regular Staz and the pearl black. So the first thing that I'll do is I like to just get kind of a nice strip of rabbit, usually a little bit longer than the hook shank on the fly. Just cut that. First, I should start my thread. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll just come in, tie in the dumbbell eyes, get those nice and secure, take my thread back to about the hook point. The next thing I'll do is just hit them with some Loctite to secure the eyes. Just kind of let that sit in there. Let that dry. Okay, I'll take that piece of rabbit and I tie it Hook down, or facing down. Just take a little piece and just tie it right on the top there. And then really secure it. So you got a nice kind of long tail. You take the estaz, tie that on there. Just palmer the estaz up to the front of the dumbbell eyes. And like I said, you can either use the grande estaz or just the regular, both work. I'll tie this fly in other colors as well, like olive or a crayfish type orange. So then I'll come in and I'll just cut that estaz off. And then I'll trim out any extra long little pieces. And then I like to, uh, I'll add rubber legs to the front of the fly here. Um, in this case, we're going to use the Magnum Bard, um, but you can use black uh, silly legs or anything like that. What I do is when I take the string here, I just take out two pieces and just pull those off. And then I come in and I loop it around, get it nice and tight, and then just tie that in. And then what I'll do is I'll go right over those rubber legs, secure those down. trim off if you get any extra little dudes in there. And then what I'll do is I'll just come up and I'll trim off the rubber legs. I want them to be fairly long because I can always adjust if need be while I'm out on the water. And I'll come in and just whip finish the fly. And sometimes you got to come in and just make sure that those rubber legs are apart. 
just like that, you have a Bassmaster fly.